Hello! In this new video series, we'll be learning how to create and complete Kappa records in FreeQMS. FreeQMS contains a powerful Kappa module for processing Kappas. This module contains time saving pre built activities with verification for common Kappa components like containment, investigation and root cause analysis, corrections, corrective actions, preventative actions, and verification of effectiveness. This system was designed in the same way as FreeQMS's other modules. It's meant to be easy and intuitive to use. Companies should be able to start using the module immediately with little or no onboarding. It's also meant to be compliant. This module is designed using trace matrices to ISO 13485-2016 and the Kappa guidance documents provided by the FDA's CDRH. Additionally, it should be more than adequate to electronically track reworking non-conforming products per ISO 9001. This video series will serve as a complete walkthrough to performing step-by-step -step Kappa records in FreeQMS. It will cover, in detail, Create a Kappa record Create containment and investigation activities Complete and verify containment and investigation activities Create corrective action and verification of effectiveness activities Complete and verify corrective action and verification of effectiveness activities and closing the Kappa record. Before we get started with the Kappa walkthrough, let's cover a few prerequisites. These videos assume your company has access to the Kappa module. First, click Modules and Billing from the Admin home screen or left-hand panel. The Kappa slider must be set to On, otherwise your company will not be able to access the Kappa module. Click the Users option on the left-hand panel. For our demonstration video, we have three users configured for the Kappa module. Your company will be different, but all the steps and principles shown in this video series will apply. First we have user 1, who will represent our Kappa manager. Our Kappa manager will create the Kappa record and create Kappa activities for our other users. Our Kappa manager has create, edit, and view permissions to Kappa, shown here. Let's go back to our list. Next we have user 2 and user 3. These users will complete and verify Kappa activities created by the Kappa manager. These users represent quality specialists working in Kappa. They cannot create new Kappas, but they can work with records that are already created. Therefore, they have edit view permission. Let's go back to our users list again and click user 3. User 3 is configured the same as user 2. Your organization may be very large and may have many quality specialists configured to only be able to edit existing records issued by Kappa management or document control. Or your organization may be very small and have just a few quality and engineering staff working in Kappa. In this case, everyone working in Kappa may have Create Edit View. This is up to the organization to determine and document. Use your best judgment when handing out permissions. The end point of this presentation is that to create Kappa records, users need Create Edit View. To edit Kappa records, users need Edit and View. Let's move on to the next part of our video series where we'll cover creating a Kappa record. 